When you were watching TV at the time, the only thing you would see on TV was the Mission Operations Control Room, but in fact, Building 30 is full of people. It's not just one room. So I didn't know I was the, the first at, at the time until I got over there, and then obviously it became pretty apparent that I was the first woman in an operational role. That was really the crux of what we were there to do, was to be prepared to uh, do a return in case something went wrong. The oddest thing about a mission most of the time is that there is no disaster because you have simulated, you know, every day you're going in and you're wondering what is going to go wrong today and you actually fly the mission and it pretty much goes like it's supposed to. The most surprising thing to me was how well Eleven went, <laughs> you know, and you're happy to have it. April 11th, 1970, launch day. The crew of Apollo 13. Look good, flight. We go. Okay, bad up. We're go, flight. Looks good here. Got that. That's a good flight. Okay, econ, GNC. All right, here's when we've had a problem. We've had a main B bus thunderbolt. You see an AC bus thunderbolt there, guidance? Or uh, econ? The first I knew that there was a problem was I got a phone call from a television reporter. He wanted to know what was it going to take to get him back. Ground flight. Roger. And we had a pretty large bang associated with the um, caution and warning there. And I turn on the TV and I'm hearing coverage. There is a bulletin from ABC News. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has had a serious power supply malfunction that could cause the lunar landing mission to be terminated early. That's we don't blow the whole mission. I mean, what we were concerned about was trip well, time, for one thing, and, and also minimizing fuel. We, we had a problem. We don't know the cause of the problem. Flight, I, I've got a feeling we've lost two fuel cells. At the moment, the astronauts are continuing to try to isolate their trouble. The late report says the spacecraft now is operating on battery power alone. All unnecessary equipment is being turned off. Sort of an interesting psychological effect, I think, because at the time, I was not anxious. But when I watch the movie, it's a whole different thing. And suddenly, I start feeling anxiety over something I know went fine, OK, in the end. And I did not feel that kind of anxiety at the time. I think being the first woman in mission control, I was being asked questions about uh, the status of women at the time. I began to think more about that. I began to be more aware of the discrimination that was going on. I think of myself as a one-time rocket scientist, a sometime lawyer, and a full-time women's rights advocate. That's how I see myself. I've gotten to do a lot of interesting things over the years. So uh, I see myself as somebody who was pretty darn lucky. <laughs>